Hey everybody, happy Aquarian times and happy, um, it's raining outside and we got a purple theme going on, so purple rain, we're invoking Prince here, or the guy with the squiggly glyph, you know, formerly known as Prince. Um, yeah, so uh, this is the astrological update uh, for Aquarian times. Um, I always do this at the new moon, I'm Mark McNutt and uh, as an Aquarian Piscean cusp, I'm very excited about these times. Uh, yeah, so uh, what a powerful time. I know I keep saying this and, and it's my subjective experience being this is around my birth time too. Um, but all the planets are, you know, they, they always talk about the planets are in alignment or the planets are lining up or whatever, but they sure are. We're having the new moon in Aquarius and Mercury's in Aquarius, Pluto's in Aquarius, um, that's a whole, uh, we'll be talking about that Pluto especially, and then uh, Mars and Venus going into Aquarius over the next few days, so um, so we're really stacking the deck here. That would be great for Aquarians, it'd be great for Pisceans, it would be a very stimulated time for certain signs, and then um, might be a little bit more challenging if you have a lot of planets in Scorpio or Taurus or something or, you know, somewhere else that doesn't uh, align as directly. So Aquarius is, is, Aquarius is not a water sign. It's a, um, it's an air sign. Aquarius pours the water for the Piscean energy to uh, swim in. And uh, uh, Aquarius is uh, uh, the water bearer and brings in, you know, brings in that powerful energy. Uh, as an air sign, uh, Aquarian energy is the culmination of the mind and communication and high idealism and so forth like that. Uh, so uh, that's part of the, the uh, feature of right now and it's it's very much a time to live your ideals and to to uh, align yourself with what your higher vision is because uh, we're um, having that Aquarian thing and then it moves directly into Pisces the Sun Moon Mars Venus joining um, Neptune and Saturn in Pisces next month so. Uh, we're moving towards the tail end of the zodiac, and that's a culmination. Uh, Aquarius, as I mentioned, new moon right now. That has everything to do with aligning with what your what your overview is. So this is a good time to ask yourself: What are your ideals? What is your vision for the future? How do you see yourself um, navigating the next few months? Because the next few months. Uh, every new moon and around that time the uh, planets are going to get closer and closer into alignment so by May 1st all the planets are within 66 degrees that's like almost one-sixth of the zodiac uh, just everything squashed in there so when we talk about planetary alignments which is a, a phrase that I don't use a lot basically we're talking about um, not only the visible planets but the ones we can't see are all in a um, in a really tight bundle, getting tighter all the time. So you may notice that at this point that uh, perhaps for you everything is happening at once. You know, this is definitely, if I could give stock advice for everybody right now, I would say this is the time to take action. This is the time to be very active. This, the, while we're to be active in your dreaming, but also in your doing, because uh, the uh, the world un unfolds according to our ability to visualize it and our ability to uh, our ability to um, uh, utilize the uh, the transformative energies that are going on right now. So speaking of transformative energies, Pluto, Pluto is the 
planet of transformation, of change, of deep-seated, uh, deep-seated generational cycles. Pluto uh, is in the same sign for uh, between about 15 and 30 years, depending on what that sign is. It has an elliptical orbit, so so it's been moving in consort with Neptune for most of our lives, and Pluto this year and uh, on January 21st, Pluto went into Aquarius. It dips back into Capricorn a little bit in the fall, but uh, this 20-year cycle of Pluto being Capricorn is pretty much just about over. Pluto and Capricorn has to do with structures, has to do with, um, has to do with business, uh, finance, um, uh, government, and, uh, and is a transformation of structure. So that's been going on, and that really peaked out under the pandemic a few years ago. And now Pluto's moved into Aquarius. Uh, for a while, it's right on the cusp, Capricorn and Aquarius, and I do believe in cusps, which means when you're at the tail end of one sign, uh, you're going into a new sign, but you're still in the old world as well. So Pluto is, you know, playing out all kinds of uh, uh, last, last gasp kind of... Uh, transformation of government, business, uh, all kinds of upheavaly things that are going on right now, as you know, and, uh, and not only in the big picture, but also in your own life. And Pluto moving into Aquarius is, uh, is the, the energy and the gravity is moving towards uh, more the transcendental, more the people, uh, aspect, more the cultural aspect, and so we can expect a cultural transformation to occur over the next 20 years. Now, when people hear, basically when people hear anything going into Aquarius, they go, oh, this is the start of the Aquarian age. Uh, I'm going to make myself unpopular and lose a few viewers by saying that we're not in the age of Aquarius yet. Um, technically, that's a few hundred years away, but uh, I usually lose my fan base when I say this uh, because we want to have that hope for the future. And that hope is happening. So Pluto moving into Aquarius, major, major movement towards uh, what stimulates us and what, what energizes us with uh, people and ideals and so forth. This is a very active time. This is not a sit on your butt and watch it all happen time. Uh, this is this is a time to take action and to visualize the actions that can occur. Now, I've seen so much crazy stuff in my lifetime that I know how quickly the energy can change. So I've always had hope for that change because there's times in, um, in our lives where you can't move much, where things are solid, where things are complacent, or they're just the way they are. And, um, and this is not one of those times. This is the time of reshuffling the deck, of shifting to something new as exemplified by that Pluto going into Aquarius. Now, Sun's been in Aquarius for a few weeks now, and uh, at the new moon, the, um, and the day before today, uh, the moon is in Aquarius as well. And then next week, uh, within a week, Mars and Venus are joining, um, and Mars and Venus are going to be in conjunction, or moving together for uh, most of February. Um, this usually occurs uh, for just a few days a year, but it's going to be a couple of weeks in um, a lot of this month. Mars has to do with the yang energy, with looking out for number one. Um, Venus has to do with the yin energy of welcoming with our, you know, welcoming and being receptive and connecting. So Venus and Aquarius, very obviously about the people and social life and so forth like that. Mars and Aquarius, is really taking the um, taking action with what our ideals and beliefs are. So again, this is not a time to sit on the sideline. This is a time to engage with friends. This is a time to engage with your ideals. This is a time to put out your best hopes for what's going to happen next. As we've been going through, you know, some pretty dark times lately, um, and out here. Um, in Deadwood, where I live, we just had Stormageddon, uh, which is, you know, the ice storms and so forth, and people being without power for, you know, a week or two. Um, I, 
uh, I'm off grid, I'm totally solar, even in the winter. What I've seen is the shortcomings of grid energy, um, coupled with uh, the long comings of, um, of, again, taking our own individual actions towards a collective ideal. Uh, so that's a whole nother conversation. Love to talk about that too, but, uh, but it also represents the Aquarian ideal of, um, of uniquely creating new, new solutions. And so that's going to be a theme over the next month. The Sun is going to join Saturn and, um, and Neptune in Pisces, and then eventually Mercury and Venus and Mars. By next month, we're going to have a lot of plans move, uh, being in Pisces, which is about the dream. So right now, what we're doing is we're conceptualizing in our minds what could be possible and believing in the fantastic is on is is on the agenda so it's like uh many of us recently can get bogged down by um by the slowness of the world to change by all these wars by um uh the you know the the shortcomings of, of rigidity and yet uh, where we're moving is a place where if we can dream it, if we can visualize it, um, if we can, you know, talk to our neighbors about it and share our beliefs and share our ideals, that a lot can move right now. Now, if you don't believe it, it's harder to make it move. So, um, so the Piscean element is very much about belief and the Aquarian uh, aspect is very much about about high idealism and all that and we'll be moving more into a unified space which for us aquarians and piscians are are going to be you know it's a power time for other signs um you know that are not as resonant with the, with those planets it's a little harder you know because it's hard uh some people can be very practical in their beliefs and in that practicality, uh, it's kind of like dancing with one foot nailed to the floor. You know, you, you can't, you can only spin around. Um, so having, uh, embracing your total freedom at this moment uh, is an important crossroad in history in, in order to make, uh, make things happen in your life. Now, uh, it's going to really stimulate the, the signs of Aquarius. Pisces, uh, then, you know, eventually uh, Aries, where nothing is now, and Taurus, and it's going to get more and more unified in, the, in that scope. Um, so uh, take, the, take advantage of this time right now and take the actions, uh, bold and unbelievable, that can, uh, that can bring in the new paradigm, because we're all in it together, and these Aquarian times really stimulate that awareness of, you know, the fantastic is what can, what can happen. So if you don't allow yourself to dream the future, it's going to happen anyway, and it's going to happen to you. So I say, take, take the, uh, take advantage of this and steer and spearhead into that future rather than, um, just waiting to see what happens. So that's my advice to you today. Get your personal reading. Um, really, very different for each soul that's that's uh, on the planet right now. Uh, a lot of diversity in your reaction to the energy of now, but the energy of now is getting very unified. Uh, get your personal reading. Uh, like what we do here, and um, wishing you well as you move into the future. And so, go well and dream the dream and make it happen.